Hello guys, welcome to last and final session of tractor test. So in this session we will just go through a brief revision of what we have already learned in this whole training. So we started with the practice test here, practice test introduction and then went through the trial account setup so that you can set up the tri trial account and practice whatever you have learned in this particular training or in the previous sessions. Then we went in and saw how you can customize or create the new products and edit the new products, uh, sorry, new projects. Um, after that, how you can go ahead and customize the dashboards and make it the way you want for yourself or within your project team. Then we understood the requirement section of practice test how you can add, edit, or delete the requirement and how the integration works between practice test and JIRA or other requirements management tool. So we have learned the requirement management module and we have learned the test library module as well when you can manage your test cases, um, assign it to a particular feature or create the folders based on the feature and then put the test cases accordingly in those particular features then we have learned about test sets and test runs how you create the test uh, test set how you edit the existing test set um, how you cre create the permutations um, cloning and etc uh, then we have learned about the built-in issues feature of practice test or how you can use the third-party issue tool and how practice test integration will help you to integrate third-party issue management tool or defect management tool within practice test. Then we learn about the reports, how, what are different reports available in practice test. And then finally, we went into the advanced section of practice test, wherein we learn around, you know, like the project, customizing the project settings how, what, what and what type of, what and how you can do the integrations with. So different integration options available in practice test. Then the customizing of filters, uh, customizing the fields within practice test, customizing the workflow, so issue or defect management workflow, how you can customize it as per the needs of a project. Then customizing the dashboard, user and groups, as well as how you can import and export uh, from practice test. So these are some of the you know, like key features that we have learned in this training. The second thing is you can go through these tutorials that you see in the um, practice test account itself to get into the more details or you can go to the discussion forums or help center to get the to get help around any of the features or advanced topics that you are not sure of. So that's pretty much around the practice test training for test for testers or anyone who is you know, like managing practice test or administration. So thank you.